Now, U.S. military flights have ended and our troops have departed Afghanistan. A new chapter of America's engagement with Afghanistan has begun. It's one in which we will lead with our diplomacy. The military mission is over. As of today, we've suspended our diplomatic presence in Kabul and transferred our operations to Doha, Qatar. We made extraordinary efforts to give Americans every opportunity to depart the country, in many cases talking and sometimes walking them into the airport. Of those who self-identified as Americans in Afghanistan who are considering leaving the country, we've thus far received confirmation that about 6,000 have been evacuated or otherwise departed. We believe there are still a small number of Americans, under 200 and likely closer to 100, who remain in Afghanistan and want to leave. We're trying to determine exactly how many. Many are dual citizen Americans with deep roots and extended families in Afghanistan who have resided there for many years. For many, it's a painful choice. Additionally, we've worked intensely to evacuate and relocate Afghans who worked alongside us and are at particular risk of reprisal. We've gotten many out, but many are still there. We will keep working to help them. Our commitment to them has no deadline. The Taliban has made a commitment to prevent terrorist groups from using Afghanistan as a base for external operations that could threaten the United States or our allies, including Al-Qaeda and the Taliban's sworn enemy, ISIS-K. Here, too, we will hold them accountable to that commitment. But while we have expectations of the Taliban, that doesn't mean we will rely on the Taliban. 